King. Please, a round of applause for Dr. Kibon King. First of all, let me, let me say thank you to the SUG president for putting together this event of the greatest Nigerian student, ever conscious Nigerian student, articulate Baba, articulate Bobo. I came to talk. I came to gist. I came to scatter. I came to vibrate. I came to ginger. Fundamental Bosa. Nokia ya ya. Samsung Shh. Akadel Boy. Greatest Malabar. Greatest Malabar. Fundamental Bosa. I don't go. I don't show. 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 The first statement I need to make to everybody here is that decisions make men. Decisions is what make men. In 2020 this year, there are certain things that will happen in the world. Coronavirus was not one of the things we were expecting, but it has affected a lot of people. But more importantly, there are other things that are happening in this 2020 you need to know. The first thing is Japan is building a robotic base in the moon. China had planned that they will build a train that will move from Beijing all the way to London, passing through 17 countries. Cars themselves will begin to drive themselves. Tesla is already producing it. Flying cars are in the making as we speak. And then the 5G network is about to start in this country. Sometime last year, MTN launched their 5G in Cross River State here. Personalized predictive medicines are coming up. Because these are the things that are happening. So the question is, how ready are you for tomorrow? A lot of people, if I ask you, what did you dream about? You say yesterday, you were flying in the night. Somebody was chasing you from the village. Or maybe you fell down and broke your leg. These are the kind of dreams that people have. But I came to tell you that a dream is not what you see when you sleep. A dream is the one that will not allow you sleep. When you are able to sleep, then you have not started dreaming. Dreams are the ones that make your night uncomfortable. Successful people dream. Everybody here has the same 24 hours. The rich man and the poor man has the same 24 hours. It is what you do with your time that matters. I know that I'm speaking to Malabites and Malabresses. I was once a Malabite and I am always a Malabite. The secret of every successful man is discipline. Discipline like the soldiers. The soldier is not wearing the uniform because he likes it, because he has to wear it. He goes for exercise every single day to change his belief system, to change his confidence. Everything that he's done is to position it because once he finishes school or finishes training, he comes out to the real world, which is the battlefield. And I dare say to everybody here that whether you know it or not, business outside is war. Whether you like it or not, so business is war, treat it as such. I used to walk down this Marian Road. My father had an office here. It was here that I knew that, look, this road was long and, and very, very steep. I used to live at the airport guest house. I did used to have a lot of money. I went to Unical. I started in, 2000, um, in 1991, 29 years ago. I will walk from airport guest house down to Marian Road to come and eat at my auntie's shop. I did not know what my tomorrow will be. It is important that you as students, you as young adults, you as businessmen begin to plan your tomorrow today because other people are planning that. Five things change everything in my life and I want to release those five things to you. The first and, and important one is your eyes. When I wake up these days, I remember that, look, I need to see something beautiful. If you wake up every morning and the first thing you see is an Okada driver, is a Kekena Pep, there is something wrong with you. Because everything you see affects the kind of decisions you make. You need to be careful what the first thing you see. If the first thing you see is that Mama Ikaite is slapping Baba Ikaite, then you know there is a problem. What you see in the morning, what you hear in the morning will affect you. I changed my medulla oblongata. I put before me something that will 
give me progress. I have something that will speak to my future. I don't look at anything ugly. So be careful what you see in the morning because what you see in the morning affects your brain. It affects your mind. And God help you, it comes to your subconscious. Now, number two is what you hear. I don't know about all of us here, but I want to test. Does anybody know this song? When the bed do they enter body? Yes, you all know the song. Some of you know Shoko, Shoko. Some of you know the song. I can bet you whiskey did not come to your house to hand over that music to you. No Bonner boy, come. They played it and it entered into your brain. But if I ask you, do you have the plan for success to build yourself the biggest house, to buy the biggest vessel? No, you don't have it because success is not yet in your mind. You need to change what is entering your mind now to what you want tomorrow. I went to Federal Government College in Janiki, Lagos, and I knew that the the best thing for me was in boarding house and I ran 100 meters in that school you can win inter house sports you can even win long jump you can win triple jump you can win even the fastest run in school but God help you when it comes to 100 meters you will die on that sport 100 meters was the most prestigious event in the whole school am I talking to somebody now and everybody that does 100 meters as a senior boy in secondary school everybody that wins the 100 meters is the fastest boy in school and God help you when you run that race that race is for dignity that race is the race that decides who is the fastest person in the school yes after you run that race they call the fathers who are 50 years old 60 years old to come and run there and when the fathers are running they laugh at the fathers that race is for entertainment the same hundred meters that is run for dignity is the same hundred meters that is run for entertainment as young adults now if you fail to run the race of dignity now you'll be somebody's entertainment tool tomorrow God help you you need to be this of what happens to you I don't care what anybody has said about you or what they have told you anybody that told you that you're a failure person in fight tell them that I said that they are lying because when I left Unical I left Unical with a third class extra year and NYSC did not post me I was failure person in fight I used to help people take care of pigs at Econ and Econ and Ebon some years ago but life has changed I made up my mind that I will succeed on this earth I made up my mind that I will win on this earth if I could win so can you at the age of 13 I lost my father my father was my friend my father was everything I wanted to be every male child here you want to look like your father behave like your father your father is the first role model but at the age of 13 my father was 39 years old my father was poisoned and he died I lost everything about life I did not do well in English in secondary school, so it affected me. In 1989, I was admitted in Unibed to study chemical engineering. But because of English, they dropped me. 1990, I was admitted in Lasso. Because of English, they dropped me. But 1991, Unical accepted me to study agri-economics. When I came here, the dean told me that I couldn't stay in agri-economics. I should go to agri-education. Or I should go and do GC. I told the dean at all, at all, now in the English. So I entered into agri education. I had a problem with things fall apart in secondary school. But now I had to write about Socrates. I had to write about Mozart. I had to write about these men that are dead. I cannot do things like that, but I knew that I had to stay. When my mom heard that I had started doing education, she said I was going to become a teacher. So she disowned me at the age of 19. I was on this road on Maria when they called me to come to a private state. I went there and I saw all our brothers. And she said nobody should accept me. Then I decided that I have to make a life for myself. A friend of mine called me and said, my sister, is looking for somebody to work in our shop I said I'm ready to work I will go from here to Lagos I worked there for three months I come back at night my jeans used to be trousers by day pillow by night I slept on my jeans three months and come back on the fourth month I came back to school I had missed my term paper missed my exams and came back here and I came out of Unica with a third class yes I failed in school yes I did not make my people succeed yes I did not make my people proud but I took a determination that I was going to make it in this this life I came here to tell somebody that anybody that laughed at you laughed too soon <laughs> laugh too soon my eyes I stopped looking at things that were failure I looked at things that were good I took time to listen to things that were important and not things that were irrelevant yes they sing well but I need to know where my future is going to 
be careful what you hear. The third thing is your nose, what you smell. I cannot stand an environment that is not smelling well. The fourth thing is what I taste, what I eat. Things that are not good, I won't eat. Because whatever you eat that is not good affects your body. I'm not talking about food, I'm talking about values. If the things that you, if the values you imbibe by your body, you become a thief. But if the values you imbibe in your body are, are positive, you become productive. So I stood there and I began to eat productive values. I learned the dignity of work, dignity of sacrifice, dignity of respect, dignity of honor. I learned honor, respect, how to take care of my men, take care of myself, take care of other people, respect other people. I did not know that I was building character. Whatever happens to you, because if you don't build character now, when you have money, money will expose your character. I don't care how much you have. Whatever money you have, I need to know the story. Money amplifies what you have. If you're a fool now and you have money, all you have become is a rich fool. Whenever you see the glory on anybody, always be careful to ask for the story. Even if the person is wearing a Jew, is driving a Jew wagon, ask him, tell me exactly what you did to get that Jew wagon. If the person cannot explain to you how we got the Jew wagon, that Jew wagon is fake. That is not a mentor. Be careful who you choose to be a mentor because anytime you choose somebody that to be a mentor, you take his spirit. If your mentor is a thief, one day you will lie for him. You need to be careful. We have too many young boys now. The average age of criminals now is 16 years old. My junior brothers and co are being arrested and are taken to FCC. It should stop. We should build characters as Malabites. Malabites should stop being known as an aggressive people. Malabites should be known as people that have respect. Malabites should be known as people that will win. I came here as an example of somebody who they laughed at. I am a born Malabite. Unical changed everything about me. It showed me to survive. I've seen my classmates here. Unical taught me discipline, taught me to wake up, taught me to survive. Taught me that, look, even if people have looked down on me, if I can make it the next day, I can wake up. I had no excuse. I will walk under the rain and make it. And I came to congratulate some people here because tomorrow is better than today. And you will make it, you will succeed. And God bless you. Have a fantastic day. The Student Union Government University of Calabar presents the Ambassador Award to Dr. Upon Thomas King in honor of your dignified personage and selfless contributions to this union as an alumnus of our great alma mater, giving with our hands under our seal on this day, the 28th of February 2020. Congratulations.